everybody out there again. My name is Ole Kazali. Welcome to another day with me. Inspired today is my daily vlog. Just to encourage us based on Romans 15 verse number 4. I've said that a couple of times. I love that passage so very much. It says everything that was written before now, the entire Bible, was written for our learning. Not only for us to know things, learning means knowledge. But beyond knowledge, that we through patience and comfort of scriptures might have hope, not torture of scriptures, comfort. So this book should comfort us all. The things written before now is meant for us all to be life comfort. In other words, we would be in situations like this, this pandemic, where we'll be looking at scriptures, hoping to get some comfort. God knew that through patience and comfort of scriptures, we would have hope. God knew that there will be times and seasons where we would need hope. And this time is seemingly hopeless. Seemingly, people are helpless. This is a time for you to get hope from scriptures. I guess which scripture I'm reading today? The good fear. Now, many preachers like me hate to preach fear. We make it look like faith must not have fear. And I found a scripture that tells us that when you walk by faith, you will have a good fear of what will happen if you don't act by faith. Noah, in, in Hebrews 11, verse 7, Hebrews 11, verse 7, by faith, Noah, being warned of God, of things not seen as yet, moved with fear. Excuse me, how can you act by faith, but you moved with fear? Moved with fear. Prepared and hark to the saving of his house, by which he condemned the world and became heir of righteousness, which is by faith. Listen, there's nothing wrong with embracing a little fear. I have some fear. So if you see my house now, I've told them, use sanitizers, wash your hands, oh, everything. Don't you want to walk by faith? I'm walking by faith. I'm moved with fear, just like Noah, to save my lovely wife, my two lovely kids, my household. Noah, by faith, was moved with fear. That is the good fear. That's not the spirit of fear that the devil placed on us. It's not fear of the devil. It's fear inspired by faith. So can I please ask you today not to live recklessly by faith and just begin to walk on the streets of anywhere you are trying to handshake everybody. That's foolishness. That's not faith. Please, brethren, the Bible tells us the Bible is a good book. It's a balanced book. One of the things that moved Noah was the fear of the flood. One of the things that's moving me is the fear that if rapture occurs tomorrow, I don't want to be left behind. If this plague and pestilence continues for another six months, I don't want to be left behind hungry. I don't want to die to this horrible, terrible plague. I want to live righteously. The best faith must have some fear in it. So don't be, don't be thinking for you to have some common sense fear means you lack God's faith. That's not true. By faith, no, I was moved with fear. So please, the fear that should be moved should be to obey God's word. Build your heart. Save your house. The fear that Noah moved with, built a heart, a bit of heart, and he saved his household. You will be saved in Jesus' name. So we pray that when you say, oh God, place upon my heart today how to build an heart in obedience to your word during the season of the flood of pandemic in the world. Keep me, oh God. Save me and my household as I obey you in Jesus' name. Amen. I hope you made that confession. God will save you when you up, when you walk by faith and you're moved with the fear of not walking by faith. Thank you. God bless you. That's a good fear. It's a fear inspired by the faith in God. God bless you. See you again tomorrow. Inspired today. Guess what? Send this video out to your friends. Those that are living recklessly, let them see this video and begin to walk by faith and be moved with fear. God bless you. Hi everybody out there. My name is Yomika Sali. Say, oh Lord, I thank you for today. Today I want to break the hold of fear over you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for those watching my video right now.